digital looks really good, but it can just be a little too stale. So like adding the element of film into a project definitely like brings it to life. It has like a grittiness to it and like a little bit of a handheld feel. And everyone's so used to seeing like cinema quality and like all the, you know, the next red camera or, you know, Alexa or whatever. So having that like more vintage feel on everything definitely like grabs your eye a bit more. And also like love seeing like all of the real flash frames that like in the rollouts in the film rather than like it's an effect. Like having that in real time when you get your film back, like, oh, it's a really good film burn. That's a good transition. I think it's just eye catching and people are like, obviously trying to emulate that with filters, but once I did the real thing, I was like, I'll never use a filter ever again. Well, I think from like day one, I think it's always been good working with you guys, whether I have three rolls of film or 50 rolls of film. And I think the diversity and like the different kinds of scans that we can do and how big of a scan you want. And then if you want like borders, no borders, if you want to see anything, like just being able to like work within the project that makes the most sense and within the budget. And also if there is like a timeline, I'm like, hey, can we rush this? Or I'm like, whenever we get it, we get it. Like, I don't want to put any pressure on you. So it's always been really good working with you. And then also like having your own film stock and camera rentals is always like one stop shop. It's way easier than sending someone to run a bunch of errands or if I'm doing a personal project, just being like, I need a camera, I need film, and I need process and scanning. Here's my hard drive. <laughs>